Okay, the next one on the big three is laundry. Now, we can have tips and tricks to do dishes. Laundry is something that no matter what is always going to be there. So let's talk about laundry. All right, five minutes around the clock. Get to your uh, room rescue. Here we go, talking laundry. Okay, laundry comes. Every single day, we've got laundry. So the biggest thing that I have for you, depending upon the size of your family, is truly to do that one load a day. Even if you live by yourself, do one load a day. Wash all your whites one day. Wash all your darks the next day. Wash all your intimates the next day, all your delicates. Um, wash towels the next day. Wash sheets the next day. And then wash other things the next day. Now, so that gives you a full week because the better you get into a routine with it, the quicker it's going to be. My second suggestion is set a timer. Find out how long it takes for each cycle. Then when it gets too full and put away, set yourself a timer for five, 10, seven minutes, whatever you feel like doing, and beat the clock. Try to get everything folded and put away before that timer is off. Fold it, put it away the minute the dryer stops. Don't sit and wait for a good convenient time because that time doesn't come. Now, if you have a larger family, say you're going to wash one person's clothes one day, one person's clothes the next day, especially if you have little kids, I seriously suggest a soaking bucket, especially with stains. Um, that way you're not gonna let the stains set. With rags and stuff like that, get one of them cute little hey, circular hey. hangers. Um, so that way, you can hang up the rags and let them dry to where they're not going to get moldy. They're not going to get yucky before you have to wash them. Um, the biggest thing with laundry is to do it every day. Don't let it pile up. Don't let it stack up. Don't. I, I understand laundry stinks. Okay. I, I get that. I totally get that. I absolutely hate I doing laundry. Um, finding your system for when to start the load also helps. Um, I have gone to, because of the winter time or the summertime and running the air conditioning, I have gone to starting my laundry at between 7 and 8 p.m because we're usually getting close to turning the air off by that time. So then I can run my load of laundry. It can wash by the time it's done washing, which usually takes roughly about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Um, then I can throw it right into the dryer. It dries. Then in the morning, I fold and put it away because it's just easier for me to do it that way. And that has been a lifesaver because while I'm sitting and relaxing, the laundry is going. Mm -hmm. So finding when to start it is a huge thing. Now, dealing with multiple loads, you really need to be on top of it with that. You need to set your timers. You need to also think about it this way. If you don't do that laundry today because you're sick of it, if you don't fold it, if you don't put it away, you're only going to have double to do tomorrow. Do you really want that? We all dislike doing laundry already. So do you want to give yourself double work tomorrow? I think not. Turn it into a cathartic experience. You can easily turn laundry into a workout by doing squats um depending upon how your washer and dryer is done um you can do as many things as you need to to try and make it a better experience for yourself i really believe in setting the timer number one so that way you don't forget about it number two 
So that way you end up beating the clock. Playing a game of beat the clock not only gives yourself a workout, but then it also helps you get it done and realize you're only going to be working at it for this long. As far as kids go with their clothes, that I leave up to you. If you want them to fold and put away their own clothes, that's on you. Some kids can do it. Some kids can't. You need to know your child. So five minutes are up. Tomorrow we're going to talk paperwork and mail.